But the word that should have been there was I but yet, which means depth. So what do we do? We revised it. And we and we do this we do this a lot. So if you don't know that Hebrew and that Greek, you can't make a better translation of this book. And then King James urged you to do that, man. I, I got the All right, go ahead. Yeah, this is a definition of revise from the dictionary dot com. It says to amend or alter to revise one's opinion, to alter something already written or printed in order to make corrections, improve, or update to revise a manuscript. That's all you need to read. Now, that's what King James said. He said he urged them to make a better uh, 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 translation. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 5 and 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. Yeah, that's straight into the point. So, what are the tools to really truly understand understand these scriptures? You got to know the Hebrew and the Greek. You got to know how to look up words. And that's why we threw this. To, uh, I, I actually did it. I threw this test at you on Daniel the 11th chapter. Now, this is open for anybody, man. This is open to you Edomites, you biblical scholars out there. Yeah. Any of you camps. Oh, and this the way it's going to be. Um, we're going to, you know, check it. We're going to have you camp leaders, the ones that are in good standing with us. You can send it. You can, you can send all the answers. Say what camp you are, your name, and you can send an email. You can send an email to, uh, what is the 666 mark? I mean, that's one, uh, YouTube page you can send it to. Just do the whole thing, type it out, and just and just email it, you know. And then there's other uh, sites you can go to, but that that I just put that up there, you know, since the video is on that uh, YouTube page. And then we'll we'll see how you, what do you whether you pass or fail. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sit down, Yahweh by Shem and we're going to do the breakdown. And then we're either going to put it in a, a DVD form and send it to you or probably put it on a private uh, video so that the camp leaders can get it and they can um, therefore find out how their men broke it down. And then what you're going to do is you'll, you'll say what each of your men, how did, whether they failed the test or passed the test or what, what the score of the test was. So that's how it's going to be uh, set up. Okay? All right, go ahead. In the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. That's it. That will be diligent, man. Anybody? Go ahead. Uh, the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse uh, 24. It says, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. And the precept for provoke is to uh, to stir up, like what these yeah. tests are doing. Yep. Uh, this is the book of Second Peter one and ten. It says, "Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do if you do these things, ye shall never fall." So the scripture is pretty uh, self-explanatory. Notice the key words there is give diligence. So that's part of part of diligence is looking up words, uh, etymology, which etym means truth and ology means study, study of the truth in words. You know, looking up words, you got to go back to the Hebrew, the Greek, the Latin. It's all part of diligence. Khan, this is you got some elder Khan. Uh, this is uh, Romans chapter eleven verse uh, thirteen. For I speak to you Gentiles, which is Israelite foreigners, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. If by any means I may provoke to emulation, if by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh and might save some of them. It says, uh, for I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. 
If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh and might save some of them. You know, so basically that's what, what uh, Paul was doing, you know, and that's what we're doing. You know, provoking to emulation, like uh, Elder Menadzak just read the scripture, provoking one another, another to love. You know, this is what we're supposed to prov be provoking each other of, you know, of, of, of the scriptures, of the truth. You know, uh, challenging each other, so to speak, like the scriptures say, as iron sharpeneth iron, so there's a friend, the countenance of another friend. You know, so we constantly talk about, you know, certain things in the scriptures. I mean, you know, we have our moments where we, you know, just chilling now, may listen to a little music or whatever. But for the most part, we're mostly, you know, into scriptures or into different. You be listening to music, man. You be listening to music, brother? Hey, brother, you, you can sit, you can, you dismiss, man. You know, so, you know. I'm just messing, I'm just messing around, man. Sometimes on occasion. Even the even the great Elder Taha listened to some music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So you know, so there, you know. Hey, you know, you you have your down. Hey, well, Yahweh Shai with the disciples. The, the, you know, you know where where Yahweh Shai's main uh, place to, of escape was the Garden of Gethsemane. That's where he would leave with the disciples to to get a peace of mind. You know, he had you had to get away every once in a while. You know, and Yahweh Shai loved to drink wine. You know, they call him a wine bit because he was constantly drinking wine. Why? Because that's what would uh, 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 leave or relieve his mind of all, all the hell that he was going through. I got you, brother. Yeah, these hard-headed, uh, uh, brick, brick-headed clowns. Yeah. All right, this is the book of Mark 6 and 31. It says, And he said unto them, the them being the disciples, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. For there, for there were many coming and going, and they had, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. And actually, they the had word, no leisure as not even to eat. Yeah, yeah. So that's why Yahweh had to pull them. You know, so look, y'all follow me. They, they, that's why they used to go to the Garden of Gethsemane all the time. That's why uh, uh, Judas Iscariot knew. To go there because he already knew where the Lord was going to go. He knew that pattern. Right, because that, that was a pattern. They would go there, and, and not many people knew about that spot. That's why he would take them there. If you look at, at the map, you'll see it. The, the, the Lord put them over there in, in that uh, um, secluded area, so to speak, because he, you know, he need, they needed that, that, a little a reprieve and a little rest. A little rest. That's right. Yeah, I got another scripture. Uh, this is uh, Second Peter. The third chapter, and I'm going to start from the top and read a couple, I'm going to read a couple of verses down. It says, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. So this test is to stir, stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance, right? It says, uh, Oh, then this guy, Nate, talking about nobody knows the Hebrew, the most, didn't the most I said he's going to bring all things to your remembrance? Yeah, yeah. Did not we speak Hebrew? So that's part of the, uh, re, that's part of the remembrance, man. Right. That's right. All right? Of the Hebrew. And, uh, if I may say, um, <laughs> them brothers from, uh, I forgot the brother's name, uh, forgive me, but um, he did, from England, he did a video, and they showed in the video that uh, even the Russian language, there were certain letters that they uh, called out in Russian, and it sounds like Hebrew. I think one of them was Shah, which was like... Uh, yeah, well, all those languages yep. came from, from Hebrew one yeah. way or another, you yeah. know? So we and do... another thing, yep. you know, uh, you got you to gotta know what you're talking about. You know, like, they, like you got certain guy, scholars out there that said Paul spoke uh, Latin. They ain't no, mm -hmm. they ain't no, back, they ain't no uh, uh, scriptural backup that said he ever spoke Latin. No record. Now, yep. now no record. No, yeah, no record of him speaking Latin. Now, he could have spoke Latin, but there's no proof on that. Right. We do know that he spoke Hebrew and he spoke Greek. Greek, right. All right? Yeah. So you got to be choice with your words, too. That's right. All right? Because well, yeah, we got to get sharp. Perfect. You know, it's about getting sharp, all right? Yep. Yep. Anything you say, you better, have, you better have the documentation and you better have the scriptures to back it up. That's right. That's right. Okay? Don't take it the wrong way. I'm just saying... Hey, Everything we get, we coming down to the wire, so everything got to be sharp, man. Let me let me fin finish reading this. I'm give you the, uh, it says uh, uh, that ye that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before 
by the holy prophets and of the commandments commandment of us the apostles of the Lord Yahweh Shai, our Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days, we in the last days, right? Scoffers walking after their own lust. Now look up the word scoffers. And saying, where is the uh, promise of his coming? For since the uh, fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of 